we began with the decision to live an alternative life in nature. We are two sisters who have moved to our family farm in the rainforest of East Australia. We have a dream to build a self-sustainable future and regenerate the land for generations to come. We spent our childhood cracking macadamias open on rocks and eating mangoes straight from the tree adventuring through the rainforest, birthing lambs, and learning to live off the land. After living in the city, we decided to return home. We had no idea how meaningful it would be to live in one place, to watch the same view every day and notice the smallest changes in the season. How the mountain above us acts like a sundial, with its shadows shifting on the cliff face, telling us the time of day and the time of year. The night was open, the rain was golden upon our shoulders and in my eyes. I'd been hoping for this moment, I couldn't have. Mom was first our grandparents, then our parents. And mum and dad met at the top of this waterfall. Together they worked hard to build a sustainable life here and plant the trees for the generations to come. After you spoke. When our dad died, we realized that it was our turn to take on the care of this land and help our mum in this journey. I was blind. We were always so grateful as we picked the fruit from the trees that were planted by our grandparents and tended by our parents. Grateful to still be nurtured by those who are no longer here. And we hope that when we are gone, those who come after us will still be fed by the meaning of our actions, the trees that we plant and the land that we care for. I know I'm a fool, but what can I We started sharing a diary of the trials and joys of living as women on the land, and our sweet, sleepy duck named Miss Dertram caught the hearts of so many people. So we decided that we should share more. I could know a sweeter love if I met it. But now I think what I miss had I left it. What follows will be our weekly farm diary an insight into the journey as we learn to build, garden and care for the land and animals. This week was special, not just because of Miss Dash from the Duck's sudden fame, but because we had five lambs born. So I'll introduce you to all our animals, and especially all the new springtime babies. I'm not going to lie, it hasn't all been easy. We've lost chooks and ducks to goannas and crows. This week, Etna the sheep had trouble birthing, and her lamb was stillborn. We had to help her in the middle of a hailstorm. She's doing okay now, just a little sad. 
The climate crisis means that we've faced the worst flood in all of our lifetimes, then drought, and then bushfires. Some mornings we wake up and there is no water in the taps and we have to hike to the water tank on the highest hill of the farm. But then the sunrise from this special spot suddenly gives everything meaning. Learning to farm and build has been hard, and sometimes the goats will eat all the broccoli that you've watched grow for weeks. But these obstacles are all part of it. And we are learning as we go. And slowly becoming women in the country. Join us in this journey. We found this old poem in the Country Woman's Hat book from the 70s. It helped us see meaning in what we are doing so clearly. To be a woman in the country means to tune myself to the rhythms of the sun, rain, stars and seasons, and to flow with the cycles of myself. I couldn't relent my time was a spin. everything around me. Pine cones, eggs, lambs, seeds, and feel at one with myself as a life giver. muscles and feel my strength grow as I rely on myself, my physical needs, walking, digging, chopping, carrying, building.
pause frequently to see beauty, feel quietness, and take a distant view, finding I can be more nurturing to myself and give more of peace to others. To wear old clothes, practical clothes, or no clothes, or to dress up in costumes and feel like a person expressing their inside outwardly. To plan each day anew, no routines, because I can balance the weather, the seasonal work, my feelings and my needs into an utterly unique day of work and recreation. To experience again childhood wondering, aimless play, sitting quietly, running freely, climbing trees, exploring, wading the stream, playing in the mud, sucking on icicles, falling paw prints in the snow. The night was old. The rain was golden upon our shoulders and in my eyes. To feel at home in the garden of the world. Here, where moss, clouds, planets, wind, wings, and fur are an affirmation that I am welcome. I couldn't have me. Oh, so soon.